I'm Paula Storm, the subject librarian for biology at Eastern Michigan University, and I'm going to demonstrate how to find an article on the genome for Arabidopsis thaliana using the Web of Science. Arabidopsis thaliana is a small flowering plant that's important to biologists because it was the first plant genome to be sequenced. I'll start at the library homepage and click on the tab that says Databases. I'll click on the W. Next, I'll click on the Web of Science. At this point, if you are off campus, you'll need to sign in using your eMish information. You'll now see a search screen. Web of Science is part of ISI Web of Knowledge and includes indexes to nearly 10,000 journals in the sciences and social sciences. In the top search box, I'll type in the name of the genome, Arabidopsis thaliana. Note that the search defaults to topic in the lists of fields to search. Using the pull-down menu, you can see that you can choose other ways of searching. Now, I'll click on the search button. My results show a long list of more than 33,000 hits, so I'll need to refine my search. To do that, I'm going to search within my hit list for the word genome. As you can see, the articles are presently listed in reverse chronological order, with the most recent articles appearing at the top of the list. Since the key article about the Arabidopsis genome sequence may not be the most recently published article, I'm going to resort my results. Web of Science offers a number of ways to sort articles. One way is to sort by the number of times cited. This will bring the most cited, and therefore the most important articles, to the top of the list. Next, I'll refine my results to include only review articles. These are major articles that give, as the name implies, a review of the research on that topic. Note that an article doesn't have to be published in an actual review journal in order to be considered a review article. The first hit on my list is not directly on my topic. The second one, however, is an article I am interested in, the analysis of the genome sequence of the flowering plant Arabidopsis thaliana. I want to find more information on this article, so I'll click on the title. Now I can see the full record for this article. You see the list of authors, an abstract, source information. This article is in nature one of the most important science journals. The number of times cited, and references, and even author contact information. If I click on the time cited or references links, I'll get the corresponding lists. I'm going to click on the back arrow to go back to the full record. At this point, you can save this reference to EndNote, which is a reference management program. If you want to do this, just click on the Save to EndNote button, and it will instruct you on how to save your references. Finally, I want to see if EMU has the article that was published in Nature. To find out, I'll click on the Find Text Plus button. I get a pop-up screen telling me that the full text is available electronically. To go to the article, I can click on the red Go button. I have two choices for full text. I can either see the HTML version or the PDF. Unless otherwise instructed, it's best to use the PDF format since the PDF looks exactly like the article in the print journal. Now that I've located my article, I can read it, print it, or save it as a file. 